Welcome to this special premiere from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll unveil the ancient artistry and modern techniques that come together to bring forth one of the most versatile and cherished gifts of nature, the coconut. Join us as we delve into the intricate steps that transform these humble fruits into a source of nourishment, hydration, and countless products that enrich our lives. Let's embark on a journey to the heart of lush tropical landscapes, where the rhythmic swaying of palm trees and the gentle rustle of leaves create a symphony of nature's beauty. Although we have machines for every task, many coconut producers and harvesters use old, conventional climbing methods owing to their proven effectiveness and economic benefits. Some workers tie rope around the thick tree trunk, while others make small cuts to climb over. The traditional way to collect and harvest coconuts is to poke them with a nail on a stick and put them in the back basket. They use a combination of machetes and de-husking devices to remove the fibrous husk from coconuts. The process of coconut harvesting requires meticulous scheduling to achieve ideal maturity. It maintains the desirable taste and nutritional attributes. Coconuts are primarily grown in tropical locations, such as Indonesia, the Philippines, India, and Sri Lanka. The growth of coconut trees thrives in these nations due to their favorable circumstances, with Indonesia emerging as the primary producer. Because these are predominantly coastal regions, maritime transportation is a prevalent and practical mode of transport. Only Indonesia transports millions of coconuts through water channels. Some factories have a special port to collect coconuts directly from the boats. The process of selecting coconuts involves careful consideration of factors such as size, weight, and freshness to achieve the highest level of quality for further processing. First, the rigid outer shell is separated from the inner kernel to obtain the inner white meat of the coconut for different products. Modern factor teas provide deshelling machines to their workers, while traditionally this work is done by hand. They use some specific knives for peeling the coconuts. Older methods are often employed in traditional coconut producing localities, namely within rural sections of Southeast Asia as well as specific parts of Africa and the Caribbean. Next, the coconut meat is finely grated and completely dried to make coconut oil. The drying process decreases the moisture content, and the resultant product contains a significant amount of oil, up to 70% of its weight. Coconuts possess the highest oil content among all oil seeds. The dried coconut is subsequently pressed to the extract the oil, which then goes through a filtration process to eliminate any impurities. The oil that's been extracted is then subjected to a settling process to separate any remaining solids. If desired, the oil can be further refined to remove any additional impurities and unwanted flavors. Coconut oil is not only utilized for culinary purposes, but it also boasts a plethora of applications in the realms of skincare and hair care, and even serves as a natural substitute for traditional household cleaning products. Coconut milk is made by soaking shredded coconut in boiling water and then straining off the solid pulp. The levels of fat and oil in the end product can be controlled by modifying the quantity of water added to the flakes throughout the extraction process.
The production of coconut powder involves the process of grating or shredding fresh coconuts to extract the meat. The coconut meat is then dried using various techniques. For instance, its exposure to sunlight dries it. Some use a specialized device known as a food dehydrator. After the dehydration phase, the coconut meat undergoes a thorough grinding procedure using a food processor, resulting in a finely powdered substance. Coconut powder exhibits versatility in its use within the culinary domain, finding utility in a range of gastronomic endeavors such as culinary preparations and smoothie making. In addition to the coconut's white flesh, the outermost layer of hairy fibrous material known as cure is also used for making various products, such as ropes and mats. Stripping, shredding, and screening are just a few of the numerous processes used to extract cure. After obtaining cure, it's discarded using a carding machine. Then various spinning wheels and tools turn it into yarn. Expert workers weave the produced yarn to make various patterns, sizes, and shapes of mats. They use a technique device known as a loom. It functions as a frame to hold the weft threads, making mat wavering easy. Core is a waste product of Nodosota ecologically benign and reusable. It presents no biohazard or disposable concerns. Similar to coconut cure, the leftover husk chips are not discarded as waste. Instead, husk chips are reduced to powder size by chopping, grinding, and crushing. After that, they add significant water to make it a fluffy solution and leave it to dry for days. The dried material is called cocoa peat. After blending cocoa peat and husk chips in the required proportion, the resultant material is compressed to transform the mixed material into cocoa peat blocks. These peat blocks provide higher air porosity for plants and help them grow faster. Besides blocks, cocoa peat can be transformed into various shapes, such as rectangular bricks, round pallets, and long slabs. Cocoa peat grow slabs are quite popular among tomato, cucumber, pepper, herb, and cannabis growers. Multiple tests are conducted during the production of these slabs to ensure they possess the appropriate bulk density, porosity, and water holding capacity, and expansion volume. The grow slabs come wrapped in a plastic or biodegradable film that protects it from moisture loss and fungal growth. These are shipped to the growers who rehydrate them with water before use. The grow slabs are suitable for cultivating on tabletops and glasshouses, hydroponic greenhouses, and polytunnel growing systems. We hope you had a great time learning about the fascinating processes involved in coconut harvesting and product processing. This fruit is truly a remarkable gift from nature with its plentiful offerings. Before you go, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.